Hey guys, uh, I got a little time to kill, so uh, I thought I'd share a story with everyone. Uh, buddy of mine mentioned on his channel that I'm into survival bushcraft and have a, uh, a number of skills and whatnot. So I figured today I'll share one of my stories of survival. This goes back to when I lived in Florida and at the time I was three years old. So my uncles had took me to the park and we're at the park and I'm running around and they're setting up the blanket and food and everything for our picnic. So while they're setting up and their backs turned, I'm playing around and out of nowhere, I see a hand come from behind me, coming over me to go over my mouth and around my waist. And uh, this guy picks me up and he runs off with me. So he runs with me and uh, there were some bushes nearby. So he jumps in the bushes and he's hiding with me and he has my mouth covered and he's uh, holding me as still as possible so I can't move or yell for help. So a couple minutes later, my uncles turn around and they realize I'm not there anymore. So when they realize that I'm gone, they drop everything that they're doing and they start searching the area looking for me. And they look and they look and they spent hours looking for me. And there were a couple of times they actually came right up to the bushes and they were right there. If they would have just looked down and looked a little harder, they would, have saw, they would have saw him laying in the bushes holding me. And so they ended up walking off and uh, went to a different area and they came back one more time when the sun was setting. And so they looked and they looked and eventually they gave up and realized they weren't gonna find me. So when they left, the guy had jumped out of the bushes with me and he took off and he took me, I, I'm guessing, back to his house. And when he took me back to his house, he locked me in this room. And in the room, it was all gray. And there was only one window and it was an obscured window. And during the time he, he had me there, I can tell when it was night and day. Um, the only way I knew that is because even though the windows were obscured, I can tell when the sunlight was shining through and when it got dark and there was maybe one or two street lights I can see from the window. And so he kept me, I'm not sure how long he kept me for what he did, but after a while he felt guilty and he brought me back to my house and uh, both my uncles jumped on him and they beat him. And uh, the only way I know about the ending of it was I talked to my uncle about it because I told him there were memories I had of it and there were dreams that I had of this place. And uh, he told me that, yeah, it really did happen and he brought you back. And um, I just think it's, it's amazing because you see all these kids they get kidnapped, not just kids, women, kids, women, children. They get kidnapped all the time. Most of them don't even come back alive. And here it is. I'm one of the ones that made it back alive. This man could have easily killed me. He could have did whatever he wanted while he had me locked up in that room. But, um... He ended up bringing me back. And the other thing that my uncle told me was that this guy knew our family because he knew exactly where we lived. And to this day, I haven't found out who the guy was that kidnapped me. I do want to know, but the only people that can answer my question are either dead or they're gone. And uh, I don't want to ask my mom because she doesn't even know that I remember anything like this. And so I'm hoping one day I can find out who the guy is. 
But anyway, thanks for bearing with me. But that's pretty much one of my stories of survival. Being kidnapped at the age of three and despite the odds being stacked against me, making it back. And um, so uh, I'm just happy to be here today. Anyway, you'll have to bear with me. I'm not used to being in front of the camera. And thanks again for listening to my story. Maybe next week I'll tell another one of my stories, but I'll think about it. Anyway, thanks for watching.